Passion in more than one field is something I think you find in Ross a lot. The kids who love science and love art and love literature, the school kind of grows from that. A Ross education is one of the most whole educations you can get, and I think it makes you a better person, it makes you a better learner, and a better citizen of the world. The Ross Spiral curriculum centers on cultural history, which unfolds chronologically through the grades. Each discipline is integrated with the cultural history narrative. Together, they provide a cohesive interdisciplinary and global curriculum. The Ross School is one of the first places to really understand the implications of a digital universe, of universal connectedness, of global connectedness. Now that we're in a globalized society, everything is integrated throughout the world, and you cannot learn about just one subject by itself. I don't think it's necessary that we consider them as different domains, but really we're combining all subjects. Using systems thinking to analyze the dynamic relationships between disciplines, students develop critical and innovative thinking, essential 21st century skills. Getting used to this integrated way of studying allows me great flexibility to cross domains, to understand things in a much more comprehensive way. In my senior project, I, I cross through cultural history, mathematics, programming, playwriting. This is actually a photo micrograph that I took. I worked in a lab photographing neurons from chick forebrains. I combine science and art to tell the story through an illustrated book and gallery installation. There's actually two components to this whole project, was actually building a saber tooth cap and also building a fully functioning welding studio on campus. And I'm very particularly interested in predator ecology, predator conservation, predator anatomy, is just everything about it I want to know. I applied the idea of systems analysis to the emergence of European exchange in the 15th to 17th century. Most valuable will be the ability to apply the systems approach to any of my studies as well as a globalizing world. So with my varied interests from earth science systems and natural resources to history and economics, systems analysis has its place as an important interdisciplinary force. People came along and pulled out some milkweed. What else is affected? Who else felt like their string got really loose just when now? When monarch butterflies lay their eggs, they lay them on milkweed, and if there's no more milkweed, the eggs will fall off. The interactive model of the Ross Spiral curriculum embodies the system's approach to education, presenting a non-linear experience that allows in-depth exploration of its architecture. Looking at this full view of the curriculum, we can jump into any grade and actually look at different lessons that are offered, the different studies. Ross is committed to balancing rigor within disciplines and interdisciplinarity. All domains of study are comprised of both domain-specific and integrated content. We can also look at the different themes that reoccur. The 3D model invites analysis of cross-grade thematic connections or recapitulations called threads. So the function of the thread allows you to jump through time periods where there are great innovations in a certain field, let's say in architecture, jump to the Greeks, their belief of harmony and beauty that affected their way of constructing their temples. Then we go to the later European cultures, let's say the Renaissance, it's all these great leaps in history that we're able to connect through the thread of architecture. The curriculum allows us to look at the past, the present, and the future as a part of an evolution. The spiral curriculum can be accessed online as individual units or as a whole. The spiral visualization allows you to enter the curriculum. For example, click on ninth grade to explore units in any of the disciplines. Here is a unit in ninth grade science and we can explore further to see all the learning experiences that belong to it and how they align with standards. The highlighted colors indicate which disciplines contribute to integration. Click on an integrated project such as the Renaissance Simulation Game or the Renaissance Dissection Project or explore the connections between individual learning experiences. The voyages of Zheng He are an example of how powerful China was. So what was the purpose of these voyages? Trade. Trade and allies. allies. So if you're looking at a star up here, this is what navigators use to communicate yeah. with each other. So you've got, that's the altitude angle. So this would be the angle you measured with the sextant. Born in 551 BC, died in 479 BC. 
When was Zheng Ha the admiral? When was Chinese exploration? 1405. Right. After like 200 years, that's when I started listening to him. During Raw School's 20 years of development, faculty have been commissioned to design integrated curricula that fuse sciences and the humanities. Faculty have developed, applied, and refined the Raw Spiral curriculum under the guidance of international mentors from diverse fields such as neuroscience, chaos mathematics, cultural anthropology, engineering, media, and the arts. Educators from all over the world attend Summer Academy at Ross, an annual retreat for professional development. Especially the brain science and the analytical science must be the key to realize uh, this transdisciplinarity. Over the past 20 years, at both Ross School in New York and Ross Tiensta Gymnasium in Stockholm, the spiral curriculum is adaptable as a whole system or as modules. Its architecture allows users to build upon it, expand its content, and add threads such as national histories or new disciplines. I read their projects and I tried to adapt them to, to, to see where do they fit in into history and we changed the order of some of them. Ross Institute supports educators adapting the spiral curriculum by providing professional development and teacher training in both pedagogy and curricular content. Systems thinking, a new way of thinking about world cultural history using the metaphors of complex dynamical systems theory. When it comes to recycling, you know, our students, they know a lot of languages that we don't, and they can use that as well, because oh, yeah. they can teach other well, they, that's what I was thinking. They could yeah. teach people in the community yeah. about yeah. sustainability and recycling. A, that's what makes it electric, is because somebody has an idea. Maybe even for your discipline that, that you wouldn't have thought of. Albert Einstein once said, no problem can be solved by the same consciousness that created it. We need to see the world anew. Ross is equipped with a vast network of mentors in a wide range of intersecting fields. These mentors collaborate with educators to improve and expand pedagogic approaches. Raw School is a lab school, offering researchers the opportunity to study education and the mind. We interviewed students between fourth grade and alumni. They were just amazing. The Ross student mostly thought of themselves as citizens of the world. One of the great benefits, I think, of the Ross education is that your students really deal with issues of cultural variation, cultural difference, cultural change. Uh, and understand themselves in those terms. I do think that one person can make a really big difference and I'm very, very thankful that I've even had the opportunity to make those connections so that when I go to college, I know I'm prepared, I'll be ready, and I'm really excited. Ross alumni drive innovation by combining science and engineering with art, design, and the humanities. They are endowed with a complex understanding of the world and the challenges of an emerging global culture. The richness comes from the connections that the students are making in between their classes. You're training your brain how to think in an interdisciplinary way. That applies directly to what I'm trying to do now in biology. It makes a lot of sense how it all connects together. You know, I'm sitting in a computer programming course and I'm saying, oh, I could totally use that to study how membrane potentials work. It gave me the confidence and the fortitude to be able to switch careers from neuropsychology to international medicine and humanitarian aid. I'm doing my PhD research here, studying how people are utilizing the healthcare system in rural Nepal. My daily business, I'm sitting around a table with architects and graphic designers, educators and historians, different experts from different fields, and bring them together. Ross's global focus I mean, it changes your whole perspective on the world. It's also learning how to be a human being, being a part of society, not being only black or Swedish or Somali or whatever it is, or Muslim or Christian, but being a part of the world. Every single one of us is going to have a profound impact upon society in the future. And through the Ross model, we're taught to best make that impact. You really get to make a tangible difference in, in people's lives. I think the Ross curriculum helps us make meaning of the past and the present and 
give us a better understanding to have an active role in the future.